Vegetable upma is usually prepared at every household but trying it this way as I have shown in the video will surely make it more unique and special. Welcome to life of Loki. Let's get into the recipe. Firstly, take around 2 tablespoons of oil and once it's heated, add mustard seeds, urad dal, chana dal and some cashews. Now saute them for a minute or until they turn light brown. Now add some chopped green chilies and chopped ginger and saute for a minute. If your spice tolerance is less or medium, you can totally skip adding the green chilies. Now add in some chopped onions and fry them for about 2-3 to three minutes or until they turn transculent. After that, add in the chopped carrots and fry them for about 5 minutes. After that, add some green peas and fry them for about another 5 minutes. Choosing the vegetables for this recipe is of your choice. You can add capsicum, potato, cauliflower, beans, etc. Once the green peas are fried, add in the chopped tomato and saute for 1-2 to two minutes only. Frying the tomatoes for longer than this will make them mushy and turn the upma color into red. So after 2 minutes, add 1 cup of upma rava and saute it for 2-3 to three minutes. In the conventional upma making, we fry the rava separately in the beginning and keep it aside. But frying it along with the vegetables not only saves time but also adds more taste. After frying the rava for about 3 minutes, add 3 cups of water as we have added 1 cup of rava. So the measurement is 1 is to 3. And also add some curry leaves now. After that carefully mix it once to ensure that there are no lumps. Now add the salt as per your taste and mix the upma until all the water is absorbed well. This will not take more than 5 minutes. Finally, when the water is absorbed and reached this consistency, add some grated coconut and mix once. Then add 1 teaspoon of ghee and mix well. I am using buffalo ghee here, that's why you see it in white color. Adding the coconut and ghee at the end will enhance the flavor of the upma and you will not skip adding them from next time whenever you cook vegetable upma. Now enjoy this upma with your favorite chutney and let me know how it tasted in the comments. See you soon in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.